so I can finally say I have a bowl full of moss. Shawty got them bands, hey. All this ice I cannot stand. Dang, it's something boys don't understand. Hey, I flip a pack a hundred band, hey. Hey creators, welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be on my dining room reveal. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the post notification. I don't know where it is, but hit that so you guys can see every time that I post. I don't have a schedule for you guys, so just click that. I'm going to try to get on a schedule, but for right now, since I just moved, don't hold me to it. And don't forget to follow my Instagram, The New Vogue. I post a lot of outfit pictures there and behind the scenes of what I'm doing outside of decor. I hope you guys like this video and let's get into it. So let's get right into the dining room reveal. I'm going to start out by giving you guys details and stay tuned to the end for any dupes and also the tour. This table is actually from Facebook Marketplace and it was $2.20 and it's actually on Wayfair but let me tell you a funny story. So I saw this on Wayfair and I wanted it as a dupe for RH table but in Wayfair it was going to take eight weeks to be delivered so I manifested this table. Okay. <laughs> I was on Facebook Marketplace and I actually found this table in the box, never opened, for $200. So it was about maybe $20 or $25 less. But the caveat was it was going to be delivered a lot sooner than if I actually bought it off Wayfair. So I don't know how I did that. Like, if you guys want a manifesting tutorial, like, on YouTube because I don't know like I don't know how I got this like table like this was the exact table I wanted so I'm so happy with it and like I said this is a dupe for the RH table that I will show you guys in a moment and I will also link this table if they have it available in the description I'm gonna hook you guys up so yeah I absolutely love how it turned out and how it looks with the chairs and they match like the legs on the chairs match with the wood even though they're not from the same company so I love that for us so let's get into these chairs that I actually picked up from Wayfair and if you guys seen the video that actually I don't think I showed this in a video yet these are Parson chairs from Wayfair and I'll link them below I love them so much and these slip covers are actually from Facebook marketplace they're originally from Ikea but they're from Facebook marketplace I got them for $80 for four of them so in case they get messed up they're easy to wash they're easy to take off I love the look of this this is very RH vibes on a budget of course and I absolutely love the way that this looks it's very farmhouse but you guys know I like to inject a little bit of everything into my decor so I love these so much. You guys can see I didn't stick with the original Wayfair slip covers. I actually opted for the IKEA ones that were in off-white because that was the color I was going for. So I'm gonna link some slip covers from Target and also some chairs and slip covers from Overstock that I wish I actually ended up going with because they were also perfect. So, so yeah. If you guys saw my last video, then you'd know that I actually found a dupe for this restoration hardware rug that's originally $1,000 maybe, but in the outlet it was $500, and I got a dupe for $134 on overstock.com. I love it. It's so soft underneath your feet, and it's the perfect color. All right, guys, so let's get into these paintings. You guys know that when I found these, I almost died in home goods. Actually, when I um, picked these out, there was another set of them available and somebody saw them in my cart and she was like, where is this? She picked them up as well and they were actually, I think, $59 for the set of two. 
I don't know if this is actually going to be staying in this area forever because I think I want a different vibe in here, but I love the abstract art with the paint strokes. It's very RH, like we said, this is what we're going for, but I'm not sure if I love it here. What do you guys think? Should I leave it here? I'm thinking about doing something different. I don't know what it is yet. Like. This is the first time I've ever decorated a space, so I'm still trying to figure out what I like. So yeah, I thought it was the perfect touch for right now. I think it goes perfectly with the chairs and the contrasting credenza. So this credenza or sideboard I actually picked up from Facebook Marketplace. It was about $300 and what's really great about this it was it was actually a crate and barrel credenza. And I love this piece so much. I feel like it's so timeless and it's definitely something that I'll have in my collection for a long time. And it would normally range anywhere from $1,500 to $2,000 on Crate and Barrel website. So you guys have to check out Facebook Marketplace. So as for this bowl, this concrete bowl, you guys know that I actually picked this up from Home Goods. It was $49 and I wanted a bowl that was giving me RH vibes, something huge, massive, substantial, classy. I found some dupes for the concrete bowl on an Etsy shop that are absolute perfect and they come in a light gray and a dark gray and they're such a good size and for such a great price. So yeah, and I got this moss app from Amazon. Amazon is your friend, okay? When you're looking for cheaper alternatives, like I always forget to go to Amazon. Amazon has come in clutch for this whole apartment. So I got three packages of this moss and I'll leave a link below on everything that I actually picked up that I can share for you guys or if I have any dupes. I got you. Just doing this, but obviously we're not going to buy 10 tons of moss to fill the bowl. But we don't want the moss falling down in the gaps either. So this will help prevent that. Okay, set one bag down. One bag did pretty good actually. I'm gonna spread it around. Why open up a bag just to get a couple of little pieces out? All right guys, so let's get into this vessel. I've been wanting this vessel from RH for maybe two months. This is not an RH vessel. This is definitely a DIY project. I got this vessel from Home goods, and I think it was $79 and I'll show you guys what it looks like before and I actually spray painted it in this like off-white color and I let some of the wicker peek through and the RH version of this it's I think a woven material not wicker I haven't felt it so I don't know but I absolutely love the way that it came out and it's so massive it was 79 it was a little bit pricey but it was worth it because it's giving me what it needs to give. It's giving me classique. That's my classique. It's very like, I feel like I'll have this for a long time. I think it's very classic. So let's talk about the greenery. I absolutely love olive branches. That's the vibes that I was going for, but I actually found something that I liked even more. And this is from Hobby Lobby. I think this was $14.99 per. And I love how the color is kind of like a gray green and not super duper green like the greenery on the table but I think it's so perfect and I only needed four bundles to get that effect because I didn't want it super full but I absolutely love this and yeah. So this DIY will just require some Krylon spray paint and I used Satin Ivory and I'm going to leave a link below so you guys can purchase the same one that I got. But for this DIY, all you're going to have to do is do a light wash of this Krylon spray paint. Make sure you guys leave peaks of the actual wicker 
basket seeping through. That's what's going to give you that aged effect that the restoration hardware vessel has as well. I would definitely let it dry for about 30 minutes. And if you want to be safe, five hours outside will do the trick to make sure that all the spray paint is actually sealed into the vessel. So I'm just gonna spread these leaves out a little bit and just make sure everything looks the way I want it to look, but I'm gonna have to stand back. And these are bendable, which is great. I love that these could bend. So I could actually style this any which way I want to in whatever shape or form I want it to take. And who picked them out? Me. I <laughs> Shay picked them out and she decided to spread them out. Oh my gosh. And I actually spray painted this vessel. I and love that you spray painted this actually. I really like that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you, how's it looking? It looks good. All right. Let's talk about this mirror right here that I DIY'd as well. Like, get into the DIYs, just get you some spray paint. That's all you need. <laughs> That's literally all you need to like spruce up anything that you have that you want to revamp or make a similar dupe to. Like, just get some spray paint and some sealer. Just get that and you're good. You can turn anything that looks crappy into gold. Like this. So I showed you guys a dupe for this RH mirror in one of my other videos that I'll link below. But look at how amazing it turned out. It was originally like a bronze color. I didn't mind it, but I didn't love it. I love the muted brass so much. And also, I'll be linking some dupes for these branches and a wicker basket as well as anything else. So check the links down below if you guys want to get a dupe or get something similar to any of the items that I actually have in my home. So yeah, I love the ridges on this so much. I thought it was the perfect touch for this credenza. It looks so amazing against this black crate and barrel credenza that I got off Facebook Marketplace. You guys know that I spent like $200 on this and I'm so happy about that. But yes, I love the mirror. I think it goes perfectly with the floral and it kind of is that standout piece that I need over here. As for this coffee table book, it is in every room. <laughs> so when you guys see me decorate, you're going to see this Tom Ford book go everywhere. I know I can't leave it in every room. So I'm deciding, like if you see it in my bedroom and you see it in the office and you see it in the living room, mind your business. <laughs> like. Oh my god, like I feel like I am one of them. Like when I love something, like it's everywhere. But you can't do that. Like apparently, my mom said you, you can't have multiple books that are similar, this, the same. I can't have four of these. My pockets can't afford four of them, but yeah. I'll leave a link for this Tom Ford book if you guys want to get one from Amazon. Just get one, okay? one and this crystal geode I got from home goods and it was $39 I freaking love this and you'll see crystals everywhere and I'm not ashamed of it okay I'm just an addict I'm not ashamed and I want to show you guys this juju hat that I got look at how stinking amazing this is like you guys this was from home goods and it was actually 129 my mom found this fine at first i was skeptical on it but now i love it i feel like it adds that perfect boho vibe that i like to inject into my home i'm not super boho but i definitely love this and it was 129 and i'll leave a link for another one that you guys can get they are pricey but they're hard to find. I found it in Home Goods. If you guys want to check out your latest, your nearest Home Goods, they probably might still have it. But if they don't, I have a link for a dupe.
right guys thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it if you guys have a favorite piece or item in this dining room leave a comment below tell me what you guys would do with this wall do you guys have any ideas on what I should put on it because I really do want to replace this I absolutely love this painting I might just put them in the living room and stay tuned for the living room reveal and all that other stuff but yeah leave a comment below let me know if you guys like this let me know if you like these kinds of videos subscribe share with some friends that are into decor you guys know it's like a party over here so tell them to come along and I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to put on your post notifications so you guys can be updated whenever I post. And also follow me on Instagram, The New Vogue. There's nothing going on over there, but you're going to want to see some behind the scenes stuff. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!